Hi guys, Art of Cheese and Wine here. Today I am going to show you the steps on how to make this incredible Italian inspired cheese and charcuterie board, which is actually on a beautiful table. First, I'm going to start by hanging these delicious plum grapes and pairing them with fresh rosemary from my garden. Then for my first cheese section, I'll be cutting some Roma tomatoes and pairing them with freshly sliced mozzarella to make a caprese inspired section of the cheese board. Next, I'll add some slices of strawberry halves as my first fruit for the board. These strawberries go great with caprese. Okay, now time to start decorating the cheese board. First, I'm going to begin with adding some jars of pesto from Aldi and then some Trader Joe's olive tapenade. Then I'll add the small wheel of brie along with delicious whole wheat crackers. Now I'm adding some strawberries, which also go well with the brie. Next is Italian mortadella, which is one of my favorite cold cuts. This mortadella has pistachios within it. Now I'm laying out the tomato and mozzarella slices for the caprese section. And then adding some prosciutto, which goes extremely well with the cheese board. Next will be rosemary infused Asiago cheese, some more Italian cheeses and some dried salami. This is really starting to come together. Now I'm adding some toasted slices of Italian bread. You can also top this bread with olives, pesto or almost anything on the board. Here's some delicious blueberry topped goat cheese with small blue cheese crumbles. And of course, next will be more salami slices, along with some fresh blueberries, raspberries and other fruits. And now I'll top the brie with some local California honeycomb and some of my homemade caramelized pecans and walnuts. And here is my Italian Tuscan inspired cheese board. For more tips and videos, subscribe to my channel and be sure to like this video. And we'll see you later guys with my new project. Thank you so much for being with me and have a good day.